Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, everyone. Wherever you are in the world, I hope that you are having a wonderful day. This is a brief um, discussion on PTSD combined with grief. I had um, several people that called me and asked, when was I going to do a PTSD and grief class again? And I believe that that is because people have experiences, losses on a greater level uh, at this time than they have in the past. And a lot of times we think of grief as, you know, the loss of a loved one, which is the truth. We grieve and we mourn. And uh, the key is to um, find what works to get us through it. We also grieve when we uh, lose um, a position, you know, in a workplace, professionalism. Um, there is grieving when we divorce and when we separate. Um, there is grieving also when um, relationships with family members are not working out. And the key to overcoming is to understand that maybe at this time in life, uh, I say our energy is not compatible. Um, when it comes to someone where we've lost a loved one and, and even a pet, that's a different type of mindset of thinking because um, the, the body is absent now. But getting to the part of grieving when there's a loss and how to uh, overcome it, it's up to us. It's self will and whatever matters that I've brought up, finances, divorce, relationships with families, um, <clears throat> and even with the loss of a loved one, it's up to us. Uh, to, to know when the next step uh, is going to come into view. And, and I'm thinking before I speak because I don't want to hurt anyone's feelings. There are some people that are uh, for the information on grief and some who are learning how to digest grief. And so um, I'm very aware of that. And when I say aware, I teach on awareness. So that means that I am going to watch the words that I use as I am speaking in this video because <clears throat> the words could be blunt. They can be straightforward. It could be what everyone needs, but it might be that somebody out there that could be hurt by something that I say. I can't um, tiptoe through the daisies when we talk about this because life is real. And um, we were born to live and born to um, transition, right? <clears throat> but the key is knowing that we were born to transition even in work. We are born to transition financially. That means that if I came here uh, living in poverty, I, I may think that I should not in my life poverty, that God has given us everything that we need. So, there is a time and a season for everything. And when I line up what I say to the Bible, what I see is, is that I have no other choice but to face the truth, even in situations where I grieve. The truth of the matter is, is that we have a will and we have God's will. Which one will we uh, choose in the matters of the heart? Um, to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord it gives me solace that Anyone that has transitioned in my family after I've went through levels of grieving are with the father. That's giving me solace. And the, the, the number one factor that has um, helped me is through all of the circumstances that I've walked through, <clears throat> I always looked at the fact that I have work to do here. So until the day comes when I am to transition, I'm either going to be happy or angry, um, hurt or bitter. It's my choice to take one of those three and more, you know, because we all have our feelings. Grief leaves you in a place of emptiness. How do you feel it again in a healthy way? These are questions that you want to ask yourself. So <clears throat> to get that uh, four week course or just PTSD, grief and trauma, 
um, it adds in the information of someone that has been in um, an accident. We discuss situations where people, their lives were transformed at the um, flick of a finger, you know? And uh, the compassion that is needed is simply being there for the person when they need you to. Um, at the flick of a finger, your life changes because you've lost a loved one or you're grieving and, and you're mourning during a, a terminal illness. You know what I'm saying? Um, all of this here gives us a life changing experience where we are not just looking at ourselves personally, but we're looking at what do we do now and what we do now is not something that anyone can answer for you. The answers come from us. So happiness, it is a choice. Bitterness is a choice. Um, anger is a choice. But it's up to us to work on the choice that we want. I believe for me, anger is very easy because I'm a human being. But because I practice devotion and meditation every day, um, Anger and bitterness is something that can't stay with me. I won't allow it to because I know the feelings of happiness. And with that knowledge, <clears throat> give us the um, opportunity of understanding grief over happiness, um, the joy of living, but also the joy of release, you know? All right, so anyway, I'm gonna give you some few pointers. And if you've ever questioned if you had PTSD, it could have been trauma from your childhood. Um, there could have been triggers. There could have been a lot of what I talked about, um, parents divorcing, uh, abuse in the family that you grew up with. And then you're grieving already because there is a loss of love. There's no love that you know that there's an absence of something. Um, then there's a transition of someone in the family or a business opportunity. Um, and it really hits home. And from the past traumas, what happens is, is that they trigger when you go into a grieving cycle. People that have been dealing with uh, Corona, oh, I call it Corona, uh, COVID, um, they were in a position, um, or we were, um, where we had to stay home. And I thought it was perfect because there's a lot of people that have been running from problems anyway. Um, I'm an introvert and um, I can change how I handle life. I'm adaptable. Um, and I, I like to teach people those things as well. Because when you're adaptable, that means in all circumstances, you'll be able to figure out how to handle it. And sometimes you do need that quiet. But whenever there's been trauma in your life as a younger person, a child, you've been in an accident that was near death or something that just shook your world. And then you come into um, the situation of a loss in businesses, finances, where it puts you in a state that you've not experienced um, financially. You don't have what you need to meet your, your needs. It it triggers trauma and then that grief process is there. The loss of a loved one, it, it can trigger uh, PTSD. And it, you know some of the memories from the past begin to come in. And if we don't talk to someone that we trust, what happens is, is that it gets larger because whenever there's a loss and uh, the, the trauma from past is triggered, it expands. Because it's like um, a, a group of gossipers talking and talking and the conversation gets bigger and bigger about who and whatever they're talking about. You see what I'm saying? So it, it, it begins to grow. So we want to catch it before it grows, even when there's a loss of a loved one. We want to catch it before it grows, because as much of emptiness that we feel at that time, People that are imparting things, I love you, I love you, is going into us even if we're thinking about that loved one that's passed on. We need impartation of words of healing and we need help with healing. Now we do process differently, meaning that I need to be at home, sometimes alone. And the, the, the aloneness is not loneliness, but I need to um, adapt and process what's happened because my whole world has been shaken and it is um, a trauma. My mind, my body has changed due to the trauma or the loss, you see? So um, I am going to just give you some of the exposures 
um, someone could have been threatened by death. And it could be, you know, where someone threatened your life. Um, this will trigger grieving processes from trauma. It could be sexual violence. Um, and I, I talked about the trauma from accidents. Um, intrusive thoughts come from this, and that's what will trigger the grieving process. And that's from PTSD here. A lot of people believe that PTSD is only um, something that veterans um, uh, acquire, but it's not true. They've been through wars. A lot of us are traumatized just by living. Uh, the world is like a war, you know, because there's little comfort here. So um, at last, what I would say is if you have any uh, desires to receive coaching one on one or be a part of a support group, contact me at ifwbuilders at gmail.com. In my classes, I give information in depth on situations. This is uh, PTSD, grief, and trauma. Intrusive thoughts, we have to work at letting them go. The flashbacks, not sleeping. Um, there's not really a medication unless you are um, diagnosed. PTSD is something that you can work through uh, if you're not diagnosed with something that requires um, psychoanalytic um, views or psychotropic medications. Okay, so contact me at ifwbuilders at gmail.com if you need coaching. Um, on any level, because I coach on all levels, and God bless you. All right, thank you. Bye bye.